Good morning, church. I'm going to speak on the glory of God today. And I know it's a very large subject, difficult to handle. And uh, in this short devotion, I will try and present a glimpse of it. We know of uh, various people in Bible who've seen the glory of God. We know of Isaiah seeing the glory of God. We know Israelites seeing the glory of God fill the tabernacle. We know Stephen seeing the glory of God when he was being martyred. And we know Paul have seen a, having a visitation and uh, going to the heaven. And he says it is inexpressible. I cannot express. Paul could express so many things in such great a depth, but he could not describe or express heaven and what he saw. And there was a desire in Moses' heart. Moses said, God, show me your glory. And the glory that God said, I will show you, he said was, I will show my goodness pass through you, pass before you. And I will call out the names of the God. And what we see was shown to Moses as the glory of God was the name of the God and the character of God, the nature of God. And we see that God passing before him saying, the Lord, the Lord God, merciful and gracious, long suffering. And these were the attributes of God. And Paul or Moses or Isaiah, when they saw this, their expression about seeing the glory of God was that they were in a state of awe. They, were, they could not express whatever Holy Spirit inspired them to write is what we are seeing here. And then we refer to a glory, you know, we attended a conference and I was one thing thought that constantly came to my mind, God, show me your glory. And I was trying to, you know, with uh, you want to see something when you see, you see it with your eyes and you are trying to see the glory in that hall or amongst the people. And then there is a glory that you see with the eyes of your heart, the enlightened eyes. And these eyes, you know, there is an expression or there is a verse in Bible, which is in 2 Corinthians 3.18, which says that we with our open faces, beholding as in the glass, the glory of Lord are changed into the same image from glory to glory, even as by the spirit of the Lord. And when we look at that hall and the conference that we just attended, and we are trying to express ourselves, God, show us the glory. The glory as you showed to Moses was your nature. What was your nature in the room, in that conference? We had Pastor Shala, Pastor Gary, Pastor Fred, Pastor Binu, Pastor Roshan, Pastor Melvin. So many pastors were seen on the stage and so many missionaries who went came from different places in, in India and spoke there, all over India. And we are saying each one of them, each life is an expression of God's work. Each life is like as if you're seeing in the mirror yourself. God has made us in our image, in his image, and the image got distorted. We are born again, and now his image is once again actually getting reconstructed. We are changing from glory to glory, and we are beholding in the mirror. So when I see the rich body life in that conference room, I am seeing many, many attributes. Many of those attributes are happening in me. It is as if I'm seeing in mirror the work of God that is happening in me. And so is the work of God happening in the body. And we are seeing each life that was there in that room was the glory of God. Collectively, this body of Christ was the glory of God. And it is this glory that we see that this glory has geographical presence. We saw Pastor Shaler come from Baltimore. We know the history of the church as it started in Maine. We know its history as it came in India and we've seen the growth. And in this growth, what have we seen? We've not, we have not possibly seen the majesty as Stephen saw or as Paul saw or as Isaiah saw. 
but we have seen the goodness of God to us before us. We have seen the goodness of God visit us and we sang a song, goodness of God is running after me. It is this goodness of God which is running after me. It is running after each life that was in the room. It was each life which is being transformed because of the goodness of God that the people saw. And when we were seeing that room full of people, full of faith, full of grace of God, full of work of God. You know, in uh, in John chapter 13, verse 31, Jesus refers to this. Now the Son of Man is, is glorified and God is glorified in him. Jesus was going to the cross and Jesus was getting glorified. God was getting glorified in Jesus going on the cross. And we know in Hebrew 12, 2, it says, the joy that was set before God, Jesus, that he endured the cross. The joy was that room that we saw filled in Holy Spirit Hospital during the conference. That was a glimpse of the joy that was set before him. 2000 years of history he could see. He could see eternity. He could see all people who are living on this planet and will eventually all those who will go to heaven. He could see that joy before him. And then another verse says uh, in John 17, 4, it says, I have glorified thee on earth and I have finished the work. Jesus glorified God and he finished the work. We know that the work of God was finished on the cross, the work of salvation, of saving mankind. And each one of us are seeing the glory and we are seeing that God working that glory in us, through us, through the church. And we are seeing the goodness of God pass before us and then God makes us the goodness of God. And then he takes us before different people who have not known Christ and we go before them. And one day they would believe and they will say, I saw goodness of God come before me. And it's so amazing that we count ourselves as little vessels. We count ourselves as little souls, as small human beings. But God says, this is my goodness. This is my glory that I'm going to change you in the same image, in the image which I made you. And that is the image that is getting made in our spirit, in our soul, because we are becoming like him and we can behold that glory. We can see ourselves, we can see collectively the church of God, the body of Christ. And we think this is the glory. This is the glory of God, how God is transforming each life and then bringing the life together to minister to each one. And we are seeing the glory of God in all these conferences, in all our church worships, in each, one's of, each one of our lives. And we can only thank God that God, Moses desired and you showed him the glory and your nature. But you not only showed us the nature, but you are working that nature in us. You are making us like you. And this is the glory of God. I don't look at the majesty as, as Paul saw and said, I could not describe heaven. I could not describe what I saw. But we can describe, we can show, we can demonstrate. And we don't do it. The spirit changes us and expresses his glory in this world, world of darkness. Collectively, within the church, this glory is getting shown to people and we can only thank God that God, we can see you, we can see your glory that many are not being able to see. Just as Moses saw, we are able to see your glory and we praise God. Thank you, church. Bye.